Well, hello everyone. I'm sitting here looking at this baler of mine. I mentioned this handle broke off here a while back when I was baling. This is a lever that trips the baler to start winding the net wrap around the bale. It's really thin tubing. I'm going to show you where it's supposed to attach to. And right now it's a greasy mess. If I had some brake cleaner degreaser or something, I'd spray on here and clean it up. I could weld it possibly, weld it back together. And I'm thinking that's what I might have to do. But I don't know how simple it is going to be to take this one piece off that this needs to be welded to. Right there it is. This piece right here. It goes on there or something like this. Yeah, about like that. But it's a lightweight hollow tube. I don't know how hard it is to get this thing off. This little arm here is connected to this plunger pin like deal that trips everything reset your baler or whatever for the next bale and there's a cable there hooked to it and that cable actually goes up to that lever you can either trip it up there or you can come down here in front and just pull this lever up and it'll activate it and wrap your bale So I'm going to see if I can't uh, get this cleaned up, get this piece off, and maybe get it welded. I, I'm thinking that's going to be my best bet. I will find a bolt or a solid piece of rod of some sort and stick in this, in this here and stick it up in there to give it extra strength. Because it's already been welded right there originally. You can see the welds where they welded to this little piece, this handle. And so with this brake trying to weld it, it's probably better if I put a rod in the center of this and where I can put the end of it up in there. Give me more to weld to, I guess. So I'm going to try and get this tore apart. And uh, when I get this figured out, I'll show you what I've done. All right, everyone, I'm back. I was looking this situation over. This here is too big of a pain to try and take off there. One reason is the cable right there runs up and goes through this back little arm or finger on there. And then they put the crimp on the end of the cable, the little deal on the cable that holds it in there. And there ain't no slot to slip that cable out. So if I was able to get this rod out of the way and pull this piece off, that cable would still be connected to it. They didn't make it convenient for a guy. So I guess they didn't expect this handle to ever break off and have to have a repair done to it. Okay, <clears throat> I'm still here working on this baler. I've done some other stuff today. And I come back to this later this evening. When it cooled down just a little bit. Um, right here's a handle. What I done is I found a bolt that was it was just a little bit too big to fit in this tube. I cut the head off head of the bolt off, cut the threads off, and I ground it down to where it just slipped up in this tube. And as you can see, there's a little piece still sticking out, which is enough to slip up in there. Like so. And what I'm going to do, this needs welded, but temporarily I'm going to drill a hole right through here, which will go through that piece of bolt. And I'm going to put a little cotter key in there just to hold it in place for now. And it'll work. Whoops. And it'll work for tripping that. See, it'll, it'll go up and down. It'll trip that. But I'm going to... Uh, like I said, I'm going to drill a hole through there and put a cotter key right through that part to hold hold that up in there. And then when I got time, I'll take this to the welder and I'll 
weld that right around there. But that's my temporary fix is drilling a hole and putting a cotter key in there. What I done is I put that bolt in there, drilled a hole right here, and welded a bead in there to fuse that bolt to this tube. That'll strengthen that tube where I'm gonna have to be welding. Cause that lightweight tube had been so easy and I think that's part of the issue there is they welded this and kind of weakened that weakened that tubing right there and it eventually broke. So now there's a little gap there I can weld, weld that in and it'll be welding welding to that bolt in there and fusing this all together whenever I get it to the welder. But like I said, temporarily I'm gonna drill a hole through there, right through that bolt, and I'll put a cotter key in there and hold it in place. It should work for now. Well, that's my fix on this for right now. Hopefully it'll get me up and running. So I'm gonna go get my drill bits, get that hole drilled and get that cotter key in there. So if you guys have one of these ba uh, balers and that handle ever breaks on you, you'll know how to fix it, I guess. At least a temporary fix. Because I don't know how you get that one piece off with that cable running through. Unless I expect you to cut that cable and purchase a new cable and put a new, new, new end on it. I don't want to go to all that. A fella could cut a notch in there to slip that cable out of that thing. I cut a slit where you can slip that cable out and get that little ball that's on the end of the cable. Slip it out of there, but you might risk hitting that cable and cutting it with your grinder, your die grinder, or cutting a slit in there too. Wouldn't want that to happen, so. Well, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna get this drilled and hopefully it gets me up and running. I hope this helped you out if you have one of these bailers. See y'all later, and don't forget I love you. Bye.